Welcome to Red Dead 2 and thanks for joining us. Today we're discussing how to get the Dreamcatcher outfit, that is everything involved in it. And uh, to start off we got some good news. And that is basically we can use any weapon that we want. And that, that's for all the items. So that's, that's the real good news to start off with. You can use whatever weapon you want, you don't have to have a specialized weapon. So there's a lot of different things you're going to need uh, to get uh, each one of the items. There's the Legendary Bieber Flop Hat. And there's the Legendary Bison Fast. There's the Legendary Bison Batwing Chaps. And of course there's the Legendary Boar and Bison Fowlers. And last but not least, there's the Legendary Beaver Cavalry Gloves. Now on its surface, it looks like a lot of stuff. And it is... And it's also going to cost a little bit of money. Now, the good news about the money side is that you're probably going to have enough funds left over after selling these items to, to the trapper. And you have to sell them to the trapper. You can't sell them to the local meat market. You want to make sure you sell all these items to the trapper so you can actually use them to craft. Uh, with the legendary items, you're not allowed to sell them in the meat market. But just that's one thing to note here. So the, the question, uh, what really this boils down to, is what do we need? And if you go through all these items, you'll notice some of these items count more than once. So basically, we need four things. We need a legendary beaver pelt. We need a legendary boar pelt. We need a legendary bison pelt. And of course, a cardinal feather. Let's take a look at how we can get these items. First, let's take a look at the Legendary Beaver Pelt, which you can find uh, just south of the Elysian Pool, and of course just west of uh, the Van Horn Trading Post. Now, besides hunting, one of the most challenging parts here is finding where that exact question mark location is. We're simply going to inspect with the triangle button. And there's basically three clues. One of the things you may want to do, or you're going to have to do at some point, is activate tracking. Now, tracking can be activated by pushing in both the L3 and R3 buttons at the same time. This will allow you to see where that next clue is. And if you can't quite see where the next clue is right away, you can at least see where the trail is to that next clue. And again, there are three clues you're going to use the triangle button to uh, take a look at each one. So far we've got one clue down and two to go. Here we arrive at our second clue. And now all we need to do, of course, is inspect uh, this clue right here with the triangle button. Okay. Now let's go ahead and find our third clue. And we're almost there. All right, we've arrived and we've inspected. Now all we have to do is find the legendary beaver. And to do that, we're going to follow the tracks until we see the thing. And then you're going to take our uh, shot or multiple shots in this case. Again, the weapon doesn't matter. All that matters is that you get the legendary beaver. So let's go ahead and follow these tracks here. And it's leading us by the river. Let's see what we got here. Going to activate Deadeye when we see the thing. Is that it? Nope. Alright, heading down by the river. There it is. Activating Deadeye. And let's get a shot or two off. Ooh, this was a one-shot uh, beaver, so. Pretty neat. So after we go ahead and get this thing, it's going to be one down and uh, three items to go. Now you can either uh, scan or pick it up. I'm just going to pick it up here. Now, one strong uh, recommendation I have, and that is that after you get each one of these items, it is highly recommended that you save your game just in case something weird happens. That way uh, you don't have to go back and do it again. 
The second item that we need is the legendary boar pelt. And the legendary boar pelt can be found in the Blue Water Marsh area, which is just north of Saint Denis. And of course, we are looking for this little question mark. Now there are a total of three clues. The first clue, of course, is the question mark. You're gonna to wanna to look for those, and then when you get to that spot, you, you hold down the triangle button uh, to search for that clue. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, probably, is use the tracking feature, as we said earlier. And you push in both the L3 and R3 buttons at the same time to track, and that allows you to see in the direction of the clue, as well as uh, track uh, which direction the animal is been, has been going. You don't have to, but you may want to consider using Deadeye in this situation. You can activate it by pushing in R3 and then tag as many times as you want with the R1 button. And of course, uh, push R2 to shoot. If you take a look at the replay on the left, you'll notice it took quite a few shots to bring this thing down. The good news is, as I've said earlier, you can use whatever weapon you want to take care of this thing as we uh, go ahead and uh, skin the animal with a triangle here. So uh, yeah, be creative, use whatever weapon you want. And of course, after you get this thing skinned, you're gonna wanna probably save your game and of course take this thing into a trapper. Now there are five different trapper locations that I know of that you can take your items to. Uh, which one you choose, of course, is up to you. So, we've got our first two items out of the way, and now it's time to turn our attention to the legendary bison pelt, which can be found south of Stillwater Creek, and of course, south of the railroad tracks. You're going to be looking for a question mark, a white question mark, that is, uh, to try to find this uh, pelt. Uh, that's going to be the hardest of the three clues to find. Uh, once we find that, of course, we're going to use the triangle button uh, to find that clue, and we'll use the triangle button to find all the other three clues that are going to be out there and then of course we're going to use some tracking and stuff and once we get close to the bison we will use our whatever weapon we want actually we can use whatever weapon we want that's the cool thing about this and however you want to do it it's up to you in this case right here we are going to use two revolvers and of course get a little help from the dead eye function and uh, once again, you use R1 to tag as many times as you want, and of course, R2 to shoot and uh, fire away. Again, this is a big beast, so it's going to take a lot of shots or a lot of power of whatever weapon you got to bring this thing down. Uh, I have not tried dynamite yet, uh, but that's probably an option as well. And of course, after you get that set, you can go ahead and skin it. And of course, save your game and bring this to a trapper. Now that we got that out of the way, let's turn our attention to the final item needed to get the Dreamcatcher outfit. And that, of course, is the Cardinal Feather. Now, the good news about this is there is no emphasis on perfect. You just need a Cardinal Feather. The tricky part, of course, is getting that good shot off. You're probably going to have to use Deadeye. But you want to get a good shot off so you can take that thing out. Now, since the shot was from long range, and that's our only option because we want the cardinal a feather, we had a little bit of a time uh, trying to track it down and find out uh, where it landed. At one point, I uh, wasn't sure if we were going to track it or find it. But uh, the location you're looking for, or the location that uh, I had the best luck, was in uh, just south of Valentine along the river. Of course, there are other locations you can find cardinals. The tricky thing about this uh, cardinal is they're really tiny and they're hard to find. Uh, again, I have a giant 4K screen, so it's a little easier for me to find them on there, but if you got a smaller monitor and stuff, it may be a little bit challenging to get one of these little things. So, But my best of luck, of course, was uh, just uh, south of Valentine along the riverbed here. As you can see, we finally uh, get uh, the spot where the carcass is, and it's only a matter of getting into the water and, of course, retrieving that carcass. There we go right there. We just got to pick up the northern cardinal, and uh, we have completed 
all four items required for the Dreamcatcher outfit. Now that we've got all the hunting stuff done, uh, all we need to do is sell the items to the trapper if you haven't done that already. And then, of course, you can uh, buy your Dreamcatcher outfit one piece at a time, that is. Again, you're going to Garment Sets, and then you're going to scroll down to where it says the Dream Catcher. And then, of course, you'll select that. And then uh, all the different options will come up as far as what items you can buy. Since you have acquired all the items necessary, all you're going to need next is money. And then you can equip those items as you uh, make the purchases. Every one of my garments and, of course, that is going to uh, wrap this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching and... Good luck.